Hey guys, today I'll be talking you through a new product release. I'm holding in my hands the brand new Alfano Pro 3 Evo. So data logging and carding has really been a battle in the last 10 years between Alfano on one hand and Micron on the other. And Alfano traditionally was the simpler, more easy to use and cheaper alternative that offered only basic analysis capacity, where Micron was the slightly more expensive, slightly less reliable, but offered more detailed analysis, especially in the unit itself. So Alfano tried to react to that position by starting to work into that more high-end analysis products and they came out first with the Astro which was fairly expensive but offered GeForce sensing track mapping and that sort of stuff and the Alfano software that you could load onto your computer to then do more detailed analysis um, outside of the unit. Unfortunately it really came at the expense of ease of use and reliability. Um, so Alfano's next move was the ADM, which was the first model with the more um, high fidelity screen, um, where the LCD was displaying a lot more information on screen, so you could do a lot more analysis right there on the go-kart rather than having to get it out onto a computer to take a look. Um, that unit, I think, was a big step forward, but it certainly had some drawbacks. And I think what we're seeing here with the Alfano Pro 3 Evo is a recognition that they need to get back to their roots. And that is to make something which is simple and easy to use and most of all reliable. And I think that's what they've done here. So I'd be the first to say that I think it's time the go-karting industry got over use of the word Evo. Seems like every third product that comes out these days has Evo in the name. Uh, but this product here I'm pretty excited about. So let's have a look at a few of the major differences that we're seeing from the previous model. So the first is the fact that in the Pro 3 Evo, we go back to having the batteries and everything mounted in the unit itself. So the ADM featured that expansion box which would sit down under the NASA panel or down at the bottom of the steering column which held um, the battery pack and along with the GPS and that sort of stuff. Where this one has got the battery inbuilt and rather than having the single connector on the back that the ADM has, it has these four connection points. So they are a red socket, a black socket, a green socket and the RPM wire um, plug. So the red socket is for your temperature and lambda sensors. So this is where you'll be plugging in. In the basic kit, you get the uh, single temp sensor, which can either be water or cylinder head. Um, and you also get your magnetic pickup. So that's the red one is for temperature. The green one is where your magnetic pickup goes. And the black one, and this is my favorite thing that they've added to this model, is where you can plug in a USB cable for download. So the previous ADM model um, enabled downloads through Bluetooth. When it worked, very nice, it was great. When you couldn't get it set up to talk to your computer properly, it was a real pain in the butt. So I'm really happy that they've come out with a standard USB cable. I think that's gonna make it a lot easier and a lot more reliable, which as I've said, I feel is what they're going for with this model, reliability. So you've got your temperature and your lap times, which are your two basic inputs. But one of the things they've added is the ability to have a split cable. And so this allows you to use a single socket for multiple inputs. So your temperature socket can take two different temperature sensors. Um, so you could take one, for example, from the water temperature, but also one from the exhaust. The green port, which by default is for the magnetic pickup or infrared sensor for your lap times, can also be used with the double adapter to add a speed sensor. So with two double adapters on, you've therefore got a fair range of expansion available with the standard unit. If you want to get even more detailed analysis from there, we can use the black socket. So this is the one that's usually used just for the USB download cable, but can also be used to plug in an expansion pack. So that gives you G-Force sensing, GPS, and three more expansion sockets. So you can see that with the combination of double adapters and these three more expansion sockets, you can definitely fit on as many sensors as you could possibly need um, on a cart. And I've heard that we're looking at adding um, throttle position, uh, steering rotation sensors, that sort of thing in future. So definitely looking forward to that. Of course, once you've added G-Force sensing and GPS, now you've got track mapping. So that's going to add that really detailed analysis that top level carters are looking for when they're trying to find the last quarter of a tenth around the track. All told, I'm pretty happy with this product. I reckon this is Alfano getting back to their, the success of their roots, which is building that simple, easy to use and above all reliable product that the average go-karter wants. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised by the price too, I must say. The basic kit, which gives you the head unit, along with the magnetic pickup for your lap times or infrared if you want, but most people won't. 
that basic kit's retailing for less than $350. So that is a pretty good deal, I reckon. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to use this one yet. Uh, I've literally just taken it out of the box this morning. Looking forward to getting down to the track this weekend to see how it performs. Um, I haven't even put batteries in this one yet, which is a good point. I should mention, takes double A's, which I reckon is great. Comes with two in the box, but you can also buy good quality lithium ones, obviously, like you'd use in a digital camera, which will give you really good battery life, or you could use some rechargeables and do it that way. So there we have it, the Alfano Pro 3 Evo, available now on K-Racer. You can order, we'll ship it out this afternoon. Catch you soon.